What's going on guys? Andrew here back at you another video and um sorry that it's so loud. I got to turn this down real quick. Oh, getting ready to watch some movies. Um Yeah, um this week is top, well I say welcome back to Top 5 Fridays. And um <clears throat> this week I got a really cool one for you, Top 5 Stephen King movies. So um to be honest, I this list was actually super hard, uh, not necessarily because of um, of trying to decide what movies to put on, but it was actually the order, because all five of these I actually rate uh, right around the same. Um, so, yeah, I was trying to figure out what the order would be. So, I mean, uh, this, is, this is the best I, I'm going to get. So, I'll, I'll just get right into it. So... Number five, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I know this is a lot of people's uh, favorite films and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I did nothing against it at all. I absolutely think this movie is amazing. Um, maybe not so much rewatchability to it, um, but it's such a great, great story. Such a um, depth. It has so much depth to it. So it's really, really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, that's coming in number five. Number four, definitely one from my childhood that scared. Uh, the shit out of me, and that is Children of the Corn. Yeah, I mean, the score is iconic. I mean, pretty much anybody um, who is uh, familiar with pop culture uh, is familiar with this uh, theme. did seem to get in there. It's just really creepy children chanting. Uh, yeah, great, great stuff. That's number four. <clears throat> Coming in at number three, you got Misery. Uh, just released from Screen Factory, a fantastic 4K treatment of this, and... Yeah, this um, this movie is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, really well shot, really well made. Of course, Kathy Bates won the Academy Award for this movie. Um, it's just such an amazing, amazing movie. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this movie. It's really well acted. Uh, the story's great. Just really good stuff. And coming in at number two is The Shining. Um, yeah, this movie is just... Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I think this movie is just uh, yeah, it's pro. It's in my opinion, objectively, it's the second greatest horror film ever made. Um, it's just the, I mean, the cinematography in this film, everything, the, the filmmaking in this film is just unparalleled uh, in terms of like cinematography and things like that. Uh, it does beat out The Exorcist in doing things like you know uh, creative things with the camera and stuff. Although the filming techniques in The Exorcist are still used today, and same with here. Um, yeah, I mean, you could go back and forth. Uh, I just think this movie is just absolutely amazing. Uh, coming in at number two. Uh, number one, uh, surprise probably for some people that, that um, you know, would be like, I just got done with two legitimate masterpiece movies. This is definitely a step down in quality, um, but definitely have a lot of nostalgia for this movie, so... Uh, number one is Silver Bullet. Um, have a lot. I saw this movie again whenever I was a kid, probably when I was like eight or nine. And uh, yeah, this scared me, especially the bridge scene. Uh, absolutely terrified me whenever I was little. And uh, yeah, just this is such a really cool story. I just love the aspect of it being, you know, the... Never mind. I'm not going to give it away. But yeah, I just was really creeped by, by this uh, movie. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite. It's my second favorite werewolf movie. Uh, behind, um, did we do, yeah, we did Werewolf movies, so behind Ginger Snaps, but, uh, yeah, uh, really good stuff, but, yeah, number one, so, that's gonna do it for this week, guys, uh, tune in next week, honestly, I do not know here on out what the top five is, so, I will get back to you next week on that, so, see you guys next week, peace.